rise and join me in the singing of the national anthem. You may be seated now. Good evening and welcome to the Bastrop High School commencement exercises for the 2020 senior class. At this time, I would like to recognize dignitaries seated on the platform this evening. Please stand and be recognized as I call your name. Mr. Barry Edwards, Superintendent. From the Bastrop ISD Board of Trustees, Mr. James Allen, Trustee. Mr. Chris Dillon, Trustee. Members unable to be with us this evening, Mr. Ashley Munchink, Board President. Dr. Matthew Mix, Board Vice President. Mr. Billy Moore, Board Secretary, and Trustees, Ms. Kelly Seacats and Ms. Molly McClure. Also on the platform are members of the BISD Service Center, Dr. Lila Oliveras, Associate Superintendent of Academics. <laughs> Dr. Christy Lee, Executive Director of Communications and Community Relations. In addition to our service center guests, also seated on the platform is Kathy Thomas, BHS Administrative Assistant. <laughs> Members of the BHS Administration and Counseling teams are Amanda Husbeth, Associate Principal, Nicole Creek, As Assistant Principal, David McIntyre, Assistant Principal, Monica Tyson, Assistant Principal, Christine Rector, Lead Counselor, Paula Rodriguez, counselor. Stephanie Wade, counselor. Nathan Mauser, college and career counselor. And Tammy Johnson, college and career specialist. And seated surrounding and amongst the graduates are the dedicated teachers and staff of the Bastrop High School faculty. Please stand and be recognized. At this time, I would like to call to the platform Mr. Logan Anderson, Senior Class Officer. Logan is the son of Erica and Paul Anderson. Logan will be attending Houston Baptist University to study kinesiology to become a physical therapist. Please welcome Mr. Logan Anderson to, to deliver the opening remarks for the graduating class of 2020. Hi. I don't know if anyone knows, but it's hot. It's really hot that I might catch on fire. But here's my speech. I want to start off by saying thank you to mothers and fathers and grandparents too, and teachers and counselors in our admin, to our siblings and cousins and any other kin, and to our family and friends who are no longer here. We love you and we miss you, but we know that you will always be near. It is all of you who have helped us be here today. 
and that is a debt we will never be able to repay. Class of 2020, you guys were something else. I've searched everywhere and found no parallels. Clowns, aliens, even weird people you see on the side of the street, all of those things, they don't compete. But I'm sure we can all agree that we wouldn't have it any other way, even though we must part and head towards our own future today. But let us not forget why we are at this place. We are here to seal the deal like double knotting your shoelace. This ceremony is for us, class of 2020, which it so appears, to honor what we have done these past 12 years. Tonight, we came here as high school seniors, but we will leave here as vivid dreamers, dreamers of what limitless possibilities we hold in our hand and what knowledge we will seek of the things we do not yet understand. Though today we must look to the future and what lies ahead, let's take a moment to look back instead. First day of high school, we were nothing but masses, walking the halls, trying to get to our classes. We knew nobody, no one at all. The only thing we had in common was getting lost in the hall. Now flash forward a few years, now it's the year filled with tears because we know that this is the last of everything. We won't get to hear the basketball girls sing, which was a very scary thing. We won't get to see the coaches yelling at their players, which none of them have had a heart attack yet, so keep them in your prayers. We won't get to jam out in our cars with our best friends or be asked, do you find me annoying? And our answer is, depends. The last morning hangouts to see your favorite teachers and to the last sports games where we would scream in the bleachers. Even though they were the last, they are moments that would bind us together, moments of happiness and laughter that will change us forever. We were strangers in the beginning, now four years later we're friends, four adventurous years that now must end. But the ends are new beginnings, a time where we can win all our winnings a story that we alone get to write and dictate what is wrong from what is right. But this is not a time to get sad. This is a time to be very much glad. Class of 2020, we have passed this test, this test that was different than all the rest. The test that showed you how strong you really are because you kept going in times like these, no matter how bizarre. But let's not talk about this pandemic. It's all in the past. We're here to get our diploma, finally, at last. I can't begin to explain how happy I am to be here today because this opens the door to our future that is underway. We are going to change the world, I just know it, because of ambition and determination, which all of you show it. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Albus Dumbledore once said, which enlightened me. It should tell you, as it told me, that who you become is the sequel to who you were, because that person was not less than or more than, but equal. Equal to everyone, because it does not matter what differences you went through. It matters whether or not you let those differences define you. Now that I have said what I wanted to tell y'all, this is goodbye to the best class of all. Class of 2020, now is the time we can no longer wait. So ladies and gentlemen, let's graduate. Thank you, Logan. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Miss Alexandria Mitchell. Alexandria is the daughter of Laura Mitchell and Howard Mitchell. Will Mrs. Mitchell and Mr. Mitchell please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Alexandria, Alexandra plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and will be going into the Canfield Business Honors Program in the Macomb School of Business. Please welcome Ms. Alexandria Mitchum, Mitchell to the podium.
Hello friends, family, teachers, and the amazing community of Bastrop. I'm honored to be up here today to speak to you all one last time before the class of 2020 is set free to go and conquer the world. I'd like to start off by honoring a good friend of mine, Caitlin Harmon, who recently passed away. Caitlin, I know you're here with us today celebrating these past 13 years, and I'm happy I had the privilege of knowing you for seven of them. From you giving me tips on how to be a good volleyball setter in middle school, to getting to share my last homecoming dance with you, Zoe, and Jamie, you have always been one of my favorite people to be around. During these times, we really needed Caitlin's glow, and there is no better way to describe Caitlin than a light. She had a smile that shined so bright, a laughter that could lighten anyone's mood, and a positivity that radiated through each person she met. But I hope we can all find peace in the huge impact Caitlin left and the blessing it was to have her in our life, even if it was cut short. I can confidently say I will never forget Caitlin Harmon, and I wish to grow to be even half of the amazing person she was. Now, to the class of 2020. Through all of the losses, natural disasters, a pandemic, and these past torturous months of Google Classroom assignments, we finally did it, guys, who are graduating. The late nights and early mornings were worth it, so thank you to all who are part of my journey through high school. To BISD and Mr. Edwards, Thank you for believing in us all and allowing for the best high school experience. Thank you for giving the Superintendent Advisory Council the best lunches and even better conversations. You listened to our voices and truly cared, and I'll miss getting to share good news with you guys. To the teachers and staff at BHS and in BISD, I thank y'all endlessly for supporting us through all our hardships academically and personally. I know I could not have gotten through high school sane or alive if it wasn't for you all. And to my favorite teachers that were more than just educators, but my friends, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all have been my mentors and safe places, and I will never forget you all. To my amazing family that have dealt with my mood swings and my chaotic schedule all of high school, I love and thank y'all. And to my once in a lifetime friends, Zoe, Jamie, CJ, Justin, Logan, and Taylor, I love y'all, and thank you for making these past four years the best years of my life so far. But don't think you're getting rid of me just yet. And finally, to the class of 2020, it's been incredible. Though it wasn't the high school musical like we all dreamed of, we've still made beautiful memories together. I'm going to miss leading the roller coaster at football games and keeping a bag of noisemakers in the back of my car to pass out at pep rallies and all of the beautiful memories we've made with this class. I wouldn't want to be up here celebrating any other group of amazing people besides y'all. When I knew I was going to have the honor to speak at our graduation, I was so happy, but I was even more nervous. I immediately thought back to sitting up in the bleachers at my sister's graduation and being amazed at the 2015 salutatorian speech. All I could think about lately was how am I supposed to give a speech nearly as good as his. So I put on my try-hard pants and I sat in my room for hours with my laptop and a journal, taking notes on salutatorian speeches on YouTube. And if that doesn't speak to how extra I was all of high school, I don't know what does. <laughs> After my hours of scrolling, a light bulb went off and I decided I would tie my speech together with the idea of the past, the present, and the future. Our past together has been filled with so many wonderful memories like finally winning the spirit stick after three years, our last and first homecomings, our last, or our first and well, only prom, and even just walking the halls at BHS. The past four years, or more like three and three quarter years at BHS have been some of the best years of our lives. And that quarter of a year that was supposed to be our time and our moments were taken away from us. But because of that, I think we've all learned to really live in the moment and cherish it. And the wise words of my man, Tony Stark, it's not about how much we lost, it's about how much we have left. And though we don't have much left of our childhoods, we will always have the present. As we sit here at our graduation ceremony, it is anything but what we imagined our present to look like. But our present situation is truly a test of our character. Will we let these circumstances ruin our spirit of senior year or will we rise above? I say let's rise. Through me though memories we dreamed of never got to actually happen, seize the day and make some new ones. Go have a parking lot picnic with your friends. Throw an at-home prom and get to wear that dress or tux you never got to. Or maybe even make a fool of yourself and learn those new TikTok dances everyone's been talking about. <laughs> but most importantly, don't ever again take for granted the present. Even if your present consists of cramming for one of Mr. Braswell's tests that we all knew we were going to bump, because we know we're going to miss that anyways. I mean, maybe we won't miss AP chemistry, but you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> A guy named Brandon, who gave one of the hundreds of salutatorian speeches that I watched, said it best. High school is like a lollipop. 
It looks sweet from the outside, takes forever to get through, and it sucks until the end, but you'll miss it when it's gone. <laughs> now the lollipop is great and all, but we all know we've always been dreaming about the future. And I'm not talking about the rapper, even though life is good. I'm talking about the thing that we can't predict, fully prepare for, or really understand. I mean, if we could prepare for it, I think we all would have stocked up on toilet paper back in February. Guys, the future is scary, but I will put money on it that all the faces I've gotten to know and love all of high school are going to ensure that our future is bright. This class is full of people like Desmond Young who are going to make an impact in the sports world and maybe even win the Super Bowl one day. <laughs> like Mary Lee Smalley, who are going to go teach so they can educate and inspire our children and future generations. Like Alexi Dunn and Tessa Altmiller, who are just natural born leaders and no matter what they do, they can influence and change the world. Like Nathan Petrie, who are going to invent the next big thing in technology and transform the way we live for the better. Like Michael Ferguson and Jude Dennis, who are going to be the politicians that lead us to a better tomorrow. <laughs> and like Caitlin Harmon, who lights up any room they enter and are truly able to influence others to be as happy, loving, and caring as she was. We are all going to go out to the real world soon and get to show everyone what the BHS class of 2020 is made of. And though this graduation may feel like the end, it's just the beginning of the, our adulthoods and the remarkable things that we're about to do. I hope you can all look beyond high school, beyond the struggles we're going through, and be optimistic about the future that's lying ahead of us. This class is different from every other class I've seen and met. I don't know about y'all, but I think we're the best class to walk the halls at BHS, but I could be biased. <laughs> Y'all are some of the most intelligent, unique, and talented people I know. But most importantly, we have firsthand learned to persevere and overcome hard, unfair times. Like when Mr. Gosling wouldn't pick us to win the spirit stick. And I mean, maybe losing half of our senior year to a pandemic applies to this too. But you know, class of 2020, I think we've all learned, learned that sometimes it is what it is. I love you, and I will never forget the Bash Up High School class of 2020. Oh, and one last time, peace, love, and hook them. Thank you. Great job, Alex. Great job. Thank you, Alexandra. The valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Miss Zoe Croft. Zoe is the daughter of Kevin and Carrie Croft. Will Mr. and Mrs. Croft please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Zoe will be attending the University of Texas at Austin College of Natural Sciences, sp uh, studying neuroscience. Please welcome Ms. Zoe Croft to the platform. On behalf of Bashrop High School Class of 2020, I want to thank you all for being here. We can't thank our parents, educators, and those who showed us unconditional support and love enough for getting us here today. We are eternally grateful. When I began writing this speech, it was much harder than I expected. You'd think after four years walking the halls of Bashrop High School, I'd have more than enough material. But the more I thought about it, the harder it was to explain the way I feel about it ending. Then. Six days before we were supposed to begin our lives, my best friend passed away. It gave a whole new meaning to the words I say on this stage. I hope they have a fraction of the impact on you that Caitlin had on my life. I want to share with you five lessons I learned in high school. Number one, you will be surprised by people. High school sometimes felt like a box, a box filled with compartments that each one of us was meant to fill. A person we either felt we must be or we're told we were. Each and every one of us is so much more than a single compartment. We spent four years together and I learned that friendships can be in the places you least expect them. We all have beautiful and unique things to offer the world, big things to do and changes to make. Continue letting people surprise you and always strive to surprise others. Continue pushing the boundaries and challenging the normal. If anyone will do it, it will be us. You all surprised me I appreciate all of you for giving me a chance, and I hope I surprised you. 
Number two, your words have power. As teenagers, we often feel powerless, like no one is hearing us. We live in a small town surrounded by people we've known most of our lives. We're comfortable. It is from this day forward that that is no longer the case. From here on out, we enter a world we were always told was big, but had never seen for ourselves. In this world, our words have power. We are the next generation, the next set of lawmakers, pioneers, inventors, scientists, doctors, and everything in between. This makes us the most powerful people in the world. What we decide to create, speak up for, and write will be the future. Our words are more powerful than we, more powerful than we know. I can't wait to see how we use them. I know it will be extraordinary. Number three, make every moment count. It may be one of the most cliche lessons, but it is one of great importance. I never thought I'd be standing on the stage after the missing the greatest three months of my high school experience and losing someone I loved so much. I'll be honest, it's painful. And this was supposed to be our moment. Sure, we lost a lot, but there's so much in front of us to gain. Every moment, including this one, is worth treating like your best memory. And if we treat every moment like this, we will eventually have a lifetime of days we'll never forget. No matter how different I saw this in my head, I know I'll never forget the way I feel looking out at all of you today. Number four, losing control is inevitable. This was probably my hardest thing I had to learn in my time at BHS. One of my biggest fears is failure. My coping mechanism was to control every detail and plan every step. I was often headstrong, stressed, and a little bossy. <laughs> I learned that no matter how much I wish I could control a situation, I couldn't. This taught me that sometimes in the moments we are losing control, we are finding ourselves. One of my favorite quotes comes from Ellison's Invisible Man. Life is to be lived, not controlled, and humanity is won by continuing to play in the face of certain defeat. Sure, we may be facing an impossible situation, but we're surviving. We're walking the stage and going into an uncertain world, no control, no knowledge of what's to come, but never defeated. I've learned that losing control is not always a loss. I'm a different person than the one I was when I walked through the big glass doors of Bashoff High School, and it's because of you. You all tested me, pushed me, and showed me what it meant to be a real leader, to make the best of a situation and never accept failure, even when I felt out of control. You will never know how much this lesson means to me, and you all are the ones who taught it to me. Number five. Success is not measured by numbers on paper. If you know me personally, or not very personally at all, considering I had the reputation of crying over a 95, then you know this is a lesson that took me a long time to learn. Success is not measured by numbers on paper, but rather success is measured by the lives we touch. I would say I was successful in high school, and surprisingly not for the reason I'm standing on this stage. I was successful because I know I had an impact on at least one of your lives. No matter how big or small, and I know you all had an impact on mine. This speech originally contained five lessons, but in the last few days, I've learned one more. Number six, the power of love. Caitlin taught me that love does not know tragedy, pain, or death. It is everlasting and ever growing. She radiated love for her friends, for her family, and for life. Her love did not have conditions or expectations. This type of love has power the power to make movements and support dreams. This type of love is the foundation and tool we need to go into the world and truly add something. Not just live in it, but change it for the better. Her love will stay in our memories forever. I will love Caitlin for the rest of my life and always show the love she taught me. As we go into the world, I hope you take that love too. The world needs a lot more of it right now. These lessons will stay with me my entire life and I hope they find some meaning to you. To my friends who somehow put up with me for over six years, I can't imagine my life without you. And I like to think yours would be a little boring without me too. To my family who always let me be anyone I wanted to be, you are the reason I'm here. To the educators who shaped me into the woman I am standing on this stage, thank you. And to Caitlin, I never thought I'd be looking out at the, I never thought I'd be looking out at the crowd at your empty chair. I will love you forever and longer. The love you taught us can be felt in every heart tonight, and we are grateful to have known you. I'll be the first to admit I'm scared. We will never be exactly the way we are now. From here, everything changes. I will never forget the class of 2020. We experienced loss and sadness, but we are still standing. 
knowing these are the people I'm entering the world with makes it a little less scary. A quote from L.R. Noss says, do not be dismayed by the brokenness of the world. All things break and all things can be mended, not with time, as they say, but with intention. So go, love intentionally, extravagantly, and unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. I hope you all go into the world ready to learn more lessons, as there are millions more to learn. But also, I hope you go into the world ready to teach lessons, ready to share your talents and passions, your hopes and dreams, and everything you have to offer. As this unconventional ending finally comes to a stop, I'm confident we're ready and that we can handle anything the rest of our lives throw at us. Thank you. Great job, bro. All right, thank you, Zoe. Mr. Edwards and members of the board, as interim principal of Bastrop High School, I certify that the individuals who, who will receive their diplomas tonight have fulfilled all graduation requirements of the Texas Education Agency and the Bastrop Independent School District. Before we distribute diplomas, I would like to bring special attention to the graduation program and students who have received special recognition. The scholarship awards for the graduating seniors are noted in the program. They are too numerous to mention. However, please know that the amount awarded to Bastrop High School seniors this year totals over $3.4 million. <laughs> of special interest, the gold medallion represents the top 10 students in the graduating class of 2020. The first 30 students are in the top 10% and are wearing maroon and white cords. Other honor cords are designated by departments and activity. Cords are issued to students who earned a 95 average all four years of high school in a particular academic area. Students with the white sashes are enrolled in the ACC career program. Students with the white stoles are members of the National Honor Society. The asterisk by the student's name in the program indicates a student has earned three or more college credit hours. If you have earned three or more college hours in high school, please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. The red, white, and blue cords are designated for students enlisting in the armed forces of the United States of America. Please stand and remain standing and be recognized when I call your name. Jay Derelek, United States Navy. Logan Gasky, United States Navy. Gabriela Gonzalez, United States Navy. Ezekiel Metamoris Cherry, United States Marines. Juan Munoz Carbajal, United States Army. Sean Pickering, United States Marines. Jonathan Ranasek, United States Army. Robert Sedlor IV, United States Marines. And Noe Torres, United States Army. Thank you for your service. It is an honor to serve your country, and we appreciate your commitment. Mr. Kerry Champagne, Bastrop High School senior economics teacher and coach, will call out the names of our graduates tonight. Will the first row please rise?
Zoe Alexandra Croft. Alexandra Lee Mitchell. Derek Zane Elzey. Jamie Beverly McFall. Michaela Lee Bryant. Juliana Diana Salinas. Caitlin Michelle Harmon. Callie Marie Nutt. Morgan Shelby Fayard. Leonardo Dominguez. Claire Elizabeth Franklin. Stephanie Zuniga Gutierrez. Michael George Moninger. Caitlin Rose Hollifield. Nathan Matthew Petrie. Avery Lynn Allen. Chloe Miranda Dietrich. Jude Gordon Dennis. Swapnil Bougel. Brandon Lee Strambler. Kate Bridges Kibbe. Caroline Elizabeth Brockhorst. Paige Annalise Barrington. Mark Allen Curry. Arlette Castro Nunez. Taylor Morgan King. Henry Brown Mendel.
blessing Alyssa Rose Preston. Brandon Michelle Trainer. Shannon Jude Reedy. Rebecca Lee Purdy. Caleb Scott Sanders. Race Austin Drake. Harley James Charlone. Efren Tejada Osorio. Jose Abraham Acosta. Joanna Nicole Adams. Bryson Kendall Robert Adair. Giovanni Lee Aguirre. Kayla Marie Alexander. Jaden Christopher Albritton. Juan Israel Diaz Alonso. Kiwesha Monet Alsip. Tessa Leanne Altmiller. Ricardo Alvarez. Marissa May Amable. Logan Cole Anderson. Laura Rocio Anzaldua Hernandez. Casey Arias Sanchez.
Daniel Joseph Arroyo. Ruby Alejandra Ortega Picardo. Jacqueline Ayala Ruiz. Corinne Francis Baird. Camille Rena Baker. Gage Randall Bancroft. Daniel Banuelos. Brianna Nicole Bates. Tariq Latone Berry. Nathan Tyler Blair. Edward Leon Brown. Jonathan Wade Brown. Taya Larray Butera. Trinity Nicole Butler. There's no extra pay. Jesse James Campos. Michaela Shea Canada. Eden Josue Carranza Ramirez. Yahaira Castaneda Morales. Adriana Castillo. Brian Castillo Davila. Victor Joel Castro Carcamo. Carissa Eileen Cavazos. Brenda Chagoya Martinez. Janet Eliza Chavez. Justin Daniel Shute. Juan Carlos Compian Gutierrez. Josue Corona Cruz. Ariana Alicia Nicole Crowell. Christian Oswaldo Cruz Martinez.
Colin O'Neill Cunningham. J. Wesley Derelick. Hannah Nicole Dark. Caitlin Grace Davenport. Isabella Alexandria De La Rosa. Elena Grace De Leon. Annabelle Janice Delgado. Mason Hayes Denson. Erica Danielle Diaz. Yamileth Diaz Suarez. Isaac Diaz Morelos. Wyatt Lewis Diebel. Alexi Tamara Dunn. Court Benson Eatman. Dejanay Jazalyn Edwards. Dylan Rose Engel. Walker Jamison Engel. Oliver Enriquez. Joseph Halen Estrada. Courtney Jean Ezel. Megan Elizabeth Fayard. Reagan Lynn Farum. Michael Everett Croft Ferguson. Alejandro Fernandez. Sabrina Annie Flores. Paul Ronald Ford. Adrian James Fuentes. Aurelio Nunez Garcia III. Doranim Garcia. Karen Garcia. Kelly Michelle Garcia Matias.
Lorena Garcia Lara. Paul Martin Garvey. Logan Noah Gasky. Andrea Gaspar Torres. Caitlin Elizabeth Gibbs. Jacqueline Sarai Godinez Zuniga. Caden William Gertz. Zachary Todd Goldstein. Arturo Gomez Lopez. Juan Antonio Gomez. Sarai Gomez Martinez. Adolfo Gonzalez Arbina. Gabriela Lee Gonzalez. Addison Hunter Green. Eric Gutierrez. Josephine Faith Hope Hamilton. Robert Matthew Hansen. Shella Bennett Harris. Melissa Yesenia Enriquez Ventura. Jacob Tyler Hensley. Anthony Ernesto Hernandez. Emily Grace Hernandez. Marco Abel Hernandez Mendez. Marco Antonio Hernandez. Albert Anthony Herrera. Keelan Ashlyn Hodge Chapman. Kayla Vesania Hola. Caleb Hymas Hymas. Nain Hymas.
Katarina Krisha Janish. Kylie Elizabeth Jennings. Erica Navarrete Juarez. Kasia Yvonne Canada. William Winston Kirk. Colton Nicholas Cliffmuller. Aiden Alexander Langston. Talon Michael Laubach. Andrea Michelle Leos. Kaylin Nicole Lesh. Kristen Lynn Letterman. Taylor Vaughn Letterman. Mark Lombardo, Jr. <laughs> Levi Dillon Long. John Isaac Lopez. Maria Isabel Loredo Montoya. Emily Jean Loudon. Mariah Araceli Lujan. Sarah Carolyn Lyons. Faison Lamarcus Madison. Andrew Nathaniel Madrigal Rangel. Axel Mancera Gomez. Briseida Lizeth Marquez Mondragon. Carolina Montserrat Marquez. Patrick James Martin. Anthony Joshua Martinez. Carlos Oswaldo Martinez Pineda. Emilia Rose Martinez. Enrique Javier Martinez. Mark 
Michael Martinez. Salvador Martinez, Jr. Ezekiel Eugene Matamoros Cherry. Damon Cole McElhinney. Aubrey Lee McElrath. Kayla Renee McGee. Gabriel Wayne McNabb. Caden Michael McNeil. Philip Douglas Meeks. Julianne Melissa Messer. Julian Nathaniel Miller. Mark Dean Minnis. Stasia Raquel Moore. Tiasia Marie Moore. Jonathan Ovalle Morales. Yaira Marua. Juan Pedro Munoz Carbajal. Davis Macharia Mwangi. Alexandria Elizabeth Napier. Caroline Grace Nations. Zachary Dean Nations. Jose Marino Navarro Mojica. Ronaldo Nieve Tonche. Jacob Tyler Nelson. Dwi Kong Win. Caden Bennett Nichols. David Nathaniel Novak. Isabel Danielle O'Connor. Tamara Danae Ockleberry. Caleb Lewis Odom. One. 
Shelby Lynn Palmer. Peyton Scott Parsons. Juan Diego Pereira Diaz. Nathan Kenneth Perry. Shelly Nicole Perry. Elizabeth Danielle Peters. Avery Nicole Phillips. Christina Lee Philpot. Ty Allen Phillips. Sean Eric Pickering. Michelle Rufacaba Ponce. Jared William Proctor. Jonathan Michael Rainasek. Justin David Reese. Thelonious Michael Anthony Reed II. Alan Reyes Gonzalez. Faith Reyes. Xavier Reyes. Amanda Bridget Reyna Galvan. Alan Everett Rhodes. Jillian Rayen Rich. Jake Donovan Richardson. Aiden William Robertson. Antonio Wayne Robertson. Francisco Elias Rodea. Angel Marie Rodriguez Flores. Margie Marie Roldan. Julian Jesus Romero. Alejandro Ruiz Ortega. Cameron Lee Sagert. Garrett Daniel Salinas. Francisco Sanchez, Jr.
Abram Isaiah Sanchez Navarro. Madison Mercedes Sanderson. Noel Jesus Santos. Kareem Jeanette Schantz. Holly Kathleen Searcy. Molly Lynn Searcy. Robert John Sedler the fourth. Jacqueline Kate Silva. Alexis Simon Santos. Mary Elise Smalley. Dylan Michael Smith. Tyron Jayshon Smith. Jacob James Soto. Penelope Ann Renee Sutherland. Nathan Gunner Spiller. Patrick Joel Summer Stevenson. Samuel Keen Stewart. Beatrice Kaylee Summers. Alan Talamantes Gomez. Axel Talamantes Gomez. Riley Jade Tamayo. Celine Danielle Taylor. Jayla Dominique Taylor. Cole Allen Tidwell. Andres Torres Velador. Noe Christian Torres. Alyssa Lee Tuck. Joseph Vernon Ernesto Tuck. Eric Uresti Garza. Paulina Alejandra Valencia Avalos. Julia Danielle Vasquez. (laughs) 
Sergio Luis Vasquez. Jason Vela Arines. Alexia Bridget Villa Gomez. Ana Luisa Villalobos. Ariana Villarreal. Kayvon Yvette Vincent. Camille Isabella Von Habsburg. Brendan Byron Wagner. Zachary Kenneth Warren. Rachel Luella Webster. Holly Alexis Wilkie. Dusty Cole Willis. Jacob Allen Williams. Xavier Edward Williams. Tyler Cole Wilson. Lillian Kate Winder. Chelsea Marie Wood. Tara Lynn Wood. Zachary Alexander Ratton. Anthony Lee Wright. Kaya Sharissa Wright. Renaya Rake Wright. Guadalupe Yapez. Desmond Javon Young. Grant Walker Zapalak. Michelle Ariatna Zavala Rodriguez. Damian Michael Ziegenhorn. Noah Joshua Zyke. Perla Zuniga.
right, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the administration, the faculty, and staff of the Bastrop Independent School District, I am pleased to recognize the class of 2020 of Bastrop High School. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulate your new class of 2020. Okay, at this time, I would like to call class officer Miss Taylor King to the platform. Taylor is the daughter of Kevin and Emily King. Taylor plans to attend Texas State University in San Marcos and major in nursing. Please welcome Miss Taylor King as she will provide the closing remarks this evening. There you go, Taylor. Good evening. First, I'd like to say thank you to my teachers, to BHS, to my loving, supporting parents and grandparents, to my amazing friends, and most of all, to the class of 2020 for giving me four of the best years of my life. It's because of you that I've grown into the person I am today. Whether it was winning the spirit stick, finally, chanting scoozy at football games, or even just cracking jokes in class, it seemed that there was rarely ever a dull moment. Now. I know that this isn't the way we expected our senior year to go, but is anything really ever normal with us? No. <laughs> this may not have been the senior year we dreamed of, but one way or another, we did it. And in the words of Tupac, if you can make it through the night, there's a brighter day. I wouldn't trade the memories we've made for the world, the good or the bad. And I wouldn't have wanted to make them with any other group of people. I know each and every one of you will go on to do amazing things, and I can't wait to see where life takes us. I'll admit, there were times when I didn't know if I could make it through high school. Through the loss of two close friends, I, there were times when I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but here it is at last. To those of you who have helped me through high school, especially these past two years, words cannot describe how grateful I am to you. And to Bailey, Thank you for being the big sister I never had and for watching over me like I know you are and like you always have since the day I met you. We all miss and love you so much and I hope we're making you proud. I just wish that you could be here today to watch me and Trinity walk the stage. And to Caitlin, words cannot describe the shock or the pain of this past week. You were supposed to be here with us today. You deserve to be. You were one of the hardest working kindest soul people I've ever met. I will never forget you or any of our incredible memories. You were such a bright light in all of our lives and you will be missed forever. You were loved more than you will ever know. Now, with that being said, as much as I've cried and complained my way through these past four years, the experiences I've had made up for all of the excruciating tests, dreadful projects, and even the aggravating busy work. No matter how difficult things may have gotten, I'm glad we can finally all say it was worth it. And J. Cole said it best, nothing lasts forever, but at least we've got these memories. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Taylor. All right, class of 2020, we as educators and you as students have done our part. You are now ready to enter the world. Now we stand at a gateway on the other side, which is the world, with all that it offers and all that it demands. As you say farewell to us, you say hello to tomorrow. Grab hold of that tomorrow, and using what you have learned in the past, build it into a bright, shining future. It is the hope and prayer of everyone here that your pathway may be straight and true and that your des destination may be golden with happiness and alive with vibrant promise. So as you commence on your new journey, I want you to remember one thing, and this is very important. I'm going to take some of you back to fifth grade at Bashrop Intermediate School. I hope you remember the words, all right? 
because I don't want you to ever, ever let anyone tell you what you can't be. You have survived COVID, you have persevered through at-home learning, and you have made it here tonight. So I want you all up on your feet, class of 2020, and let's say these words, repeat after me. I can be whatever I want to be. The only thing I need to do is want to be somebody. All right, let's let it out one more time. All your frustrations, you've been holding it in. I know you can do better than that. I can be whatever I want to be. The only thing I need to do is want to be somebody. All right, last time. The world is out there. Let them know you're coming. I can be whatever I want to be. The only thing I need to do is want to be somebody. Congratulations, class of 2020. Okay, esteemed guests and family members, thank you for being with us tonight as we celebrate the graduation of the Bastrop High, Cl High School Class of 2020. At this time, if everyone would please rise and join in the singing of the alma mater. Immediately following the school song, graduate standing will turn around in their seat. You'll toss the cap that's under your chair, if you haven't done so already. <laughs> we ask that in order to remain sanitary, don't pick up the cap you toss. <laughs> All right, graduates will recess out of the stadium after the fireworks. Parents will be released afterwards by section to proceed to their cars and join their graduates. Due to current restrictions, we will not be permitting family members and guests to join the graduates on the field after the fireworks show ends. Thank you for being with us this evening. Way to go, 2020. Very proud of you. <laughs> they heard the music.
Okay, graduates, so we can recess out. Let's get back in our rows. So we can march out and you can celebrate. <clears throat> Yeah. We're, we're, we're doing a good job. Y'all are doing great. We're almost out of here. Okay. All right. Great job, y'all. Let's play the music. Coming, uh, you may now. 